Okay, good evening. Welcome to um, Great Math Number 93. Great Math 93, yeah. So these are two problems from the um, two, or 1987 American Junior High Math exam that looked like they might be pretty fun. So we're going to take a look at them. Uh, problem 11. The sum 2 and a 7th plus 3 and a half plus 5 and 1 19th is between what two numbers? 10, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 11, 11, 11 and a half, 11 and a half, 12, and 12 and 12 and a half. So, let's see. So, we could first add up the non-fractional parts of the mixed numbers. So we could add up 2 plus 3 plus 5, and that's going to be 10. Okay. Now, we need to figure out what these fractional parts are going to be. We can already eliminate A, because it says between 10 and 10 and a half. Uh -huh. We already have the 10, and then we already have the half, okay. and then we have more than that. All right. So. And then now, this isn't going to be more, these two together aren't going to be more than a half. Because they're, they're both less than a half. But that they could still be more than a half together. Yeah, so that's tricky. So we got to figure out what 1 7 plus 1 19 is. So, if we found the common denominator, but, what would the common denominator be? It would be 7 times 19. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. Yeah. How can we figure mm -hmm. out if a 7th plus a 19th is greater than a half? Well, since, uh, since in a ninth, since it's 1 7 plus 1 19th, it's going to be less than 2 7ths. Ah. Because 1 19th is less than a 7th. Very good, very good observation. So it's going to be between 10 and a half and 11. That's choice B. Okay. Alright, good. So, let's look at problem number 12 now. What fraction of the large 12 by 18 rectangle is shaded? Ooh, interesting. So, you know, here, see, it's this part right here. So, this whole thing, so this part here, this small bit, that's one half. Okay. So, and now, this part here is one fourth. So together that makes three fourths. Okay. So three fourths is not shaded. So less. So less than a fourth is is shaded. Okay. Less than a fourth is shaded. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So how can we figure out like these parts are? Yeah. So this is maybe going to be a nine by six rectangle. Okay. So maybe we could figure out the total area of this. Alright. So, 12 by 18. So, I'm not sure what a 12 by 18 rectangle is. Yeah, but you do know that this part over here is how much? That's 1 fourth. Ah, uh, that's one fourth of the rectangle. Okay, so maybe we can. Maybe that's going to be helpful for mm. us. So we divide one fourth. Maybe it looks like the shaded part is two of these non-shaded, the little parts. Okay. So, looks like we're dividing it up in the into thirds here. All right. So which it means one of these is one twelfth. Ah. So one twelfth, two twelfth, three twelfth, four twelfth, six twelfth, which is mm. one half. I mean, that means this part is a half, because we said this, each of these is one twelfth of the area. How did we How did we figure that each of those was one twelfth of the area? So we divide it into thirds: these two, and these two, and then this big one. Okay. So then, and each, and this is a, and that those thirds are a fourth. Okay. Of the whole thing. So, and then, so, if we, if you imagine adding, like, two more, if you add, like, a, if dividing that in half, you would have six little bars. Uh-huh. That's one-fourth. Yep. So, that would be, your, each of those little, each of the, I think, each of those little, the little bars is one-twenty-fourth. Okay. Because... Six of them together would be six twenty-fourth, which is a fourth. Right, good. So that would mean the 
the shaded part is two of those bars, which is two twenty-fourths, which is a twelfth. So it's C. Interesting. Okay. Great. Good job. Good job. High five. Good work. <laughs>